Hello all, welcome to oratrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we design a multi-sheet Excel report using Excel template. So let us understand the steps required. So the first thing is what we are trying to target is like we want to design an Excel sheet output with three sheets. So like uh, we'll be designing a three independent queries. One is for the legal entity, ledger, and other one is business unit. Once the queries are ready, then what we have to do is we have to create a data model. Once we create a data model, get the sample output of the particular data model, and then create the Excel sheet dot XLS file with three sheets and insert. And then, you know, like we have to design the template and wherein, you know, like we have to insert the fields and repeating group respectively in all the three sheets. And once it is done, we have to upload the template. So now we'll see this particular all steps practically one by one. Okay. So the first step is designing a data model. So let me get the queries. So these are the three queries and uh, what we have to do is we have to create a data model. So now navigate to the instance and here you just click on data model. So save the file data model. Multi-sheet Excel DM. And the first one I want to consider is legal entity. So select the query. And change it to application DBFSCM and I'll say legal entity Q. And similarly, take the next one, ledger. Ledger Q. Next third one is business unit. So, B U Q. And now one important thing is when you are designing a multi-sheet Excel report with three independent queries, all the columns, all the columns in the total data model should be unique. Okay. Now let us say if you have a name, generally the name column is available in all three tables. So, but what we have, what I have done is I have done alias so that like uh, there is no collision between any of the column in any of this particular groups. Okay. The first important thing is all the columns in every particular group across all the groups should be unique. Okay, so now, and one more thing I prefer to do is like, uh, so what we can do is we can just change the group name also. Just click on this one and click on properties. The first one is, I'll say legal entity. I'll just go with LE. And next one is click on gear icon. This is not mandatory, but I just a good, nice to have feature ledger. And the last one is business unit. BU so that we can easily remember like uh, the group belongs to which particular query. So click on data, click on view. And now this is how it looks like and click on save. Now export. Okay, so get the Excel. So we got the XML file and get the Excel, like uh, just copy the XML file to the respective folder. And now what we do is let us create the Excel file. Let's create the Excel file. Now click on blank workbook, save it. And now in this particular folder, I'll try to save it. And the file extension makes sure that it belongs to Excel 97-2003.xls. So I'll say multi-sheet. Excel TMPL. Okay. So as agreed, we want to design three sheets, right? So if you observe, I'll show you the logic. So I'll try to have three sheets. One is legal entity, ledger, and business unit. This is how I'll try to design the template now. Ledger, legal entity, ledger, and business unit. First one is legal entity, ledger, and business unit. Now, if you want to do a formatting kind of thing, just yes, we can do it. So I'll just say merge it and I can just have legal entity. So this will become a report header for this particular sheet. I can bold it, increase the font. Maybe 16 should work out. And you can just change it accordingly. Okay. Or maybe you can increase it further. You can copy this and you can paste here. You can just simply change the name. 
and similarly copy this paste here and change the text and next thing is click on the legal entity sheet so what we have done is we just created xls file and created three shades now upload the xml file which we got from the data model so select the data model sample click on sample xml select the xml which we got from data model click on open and now what we do is here click on like one first thing is you know we require to we need to create columns right so the easiest thing is just go to the output of data model output just copy the column names of course you can just rename it after later but as of now this is the easiest thing you can just to start with and similarly for ledger also you can just copy and similarly for bu okay now we can do a bad like a uh, formatting appropriate formatting okay like this you can just do it and you can just change the colors also for table yeah now next thing is we have columns now we have the data we have to insert the data fields right so click on BA Publisher, click on Field. Now, at this point of time, it will create a metadata sheet. Just simply click on OK, and the metadata sheet will be, by default, will be hidden. Click on OK now. And now, what is the field? Legal entity. So go to the legal entity, and I just want, want to insert this one. Click on this one. And the next one is name. Simply click on Insert. Other one is Legal Employer Flag. Simply click on Insert and close it. And now we have inserted the fields. The next step is select three columns, the three fields which you have inserted. And now go to in the BI Publisher menu, click on Repeating Group, and here select Legal Entity. Yep, Legal Entity, and click on OK. In the same way, we have to repeat for the remaining two sheets also. So now we can just change the font, change the colors, and all those things. We can do it, and we can just tabular fashion text word wrap. Okay. Now, here, go to BI Publisher, click on Field, and now this belongs to Ledger ID. Simply click on Insert and just do the same step for all the remaining fields. Insert, 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 insert. That's it. Similarly, select all the columns, only the columns, and click on Repeating Group. And now this time, select Ledger, click on OK. Now, go to Business Unit wrap bold it change the color select go to be a publisher click on field now this belongs to business unit so i'll click on insert 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 next step is you have to click select the fields and then click on repeating group and select business unit and okay and now for these number fields, right? So make sure that you have to select number and remove the fractional part. So it all depends upon what data type you have it and you have to format it accordingly. By default, it may choose the some kind of Excel feature. So better it choose appropriate one. Okay. So our template is almost ready. Now we can just sell, can just view, view the output also here itself. Click on BA Publisher, click on Excel, and you should be able to see the output now. Okay, we are able to see the output in the legal entity. We got Ledger and Business here, perfect. So click on Close, and now the next step is, so before creating a report, as of now, click on Save. Okay, generally, if you are delaying it for, for like, a, if it is ideal for some time, generally it gives an error. So let's try to re in. So I have to navigate to the data model, click on catalog. So I know where I have saved it. So that is the reason always make sure that you have to know where you're saving it so that you don't have to rework on it. So I have saved in the, my folder or our trainings and this is my data model. I'll click on edit and hope I all my queries are saved click on data. Let us see it again. Yep, the tables are safe. The queries are okay. Now just click on create a report.
So here we don't want to use a guide me option. I simply want to go with report editor because we want to design the template. So click on finish. So now it is asking to save the report name. Multi sheet Excel. Multi sheet Excel report. Okay, now the next step is the data model is automatically selected. And now the next, the last option is upload the template. So select the template and mention the output name. And the type is Excel, local is English. Okay. So we are almost at the final step. Click on view report and we should be able to see the data. It's opening. So this is our output now. So we got legal entity data, ledger data, as well as business unit data. So as of now, we have not used any parameter. And what we can do is we can add up all the remaining logic also. We just we just want to showcase how we can design a multi-sheet Excel report with independent queries. If you have a parameter section, yep, you can add up the parameter. And generally, what we can do is you can add up one more sheet and you can display parameters also. Okay, so this is all about multi-sheet Excel report with independent queries. And like using a, like a XLS template. Thank you.